What's up guys? Welcome to another episode. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about the chests. Uh, so when this release happened, I bought the two super magical chests and they were very fun. I would love to buy more, but I was kind of waiting to see if anybody did any um, analysis of uh, chest values and I haven't really seen anything yet so BAM! Uh, for Arena 7, I did a little Excel fun. Uh, I really enjoy Excel, I won't lie. And kind of pulled out the numbers for Arena 7 chests. As you can see uh, my, on my sheet, the cost is 410 gems. Uh, you get a total of 232 cards, and 23 are guaranteed to be rare. Now, I know that there's um, some small percentage chance that I don't think we have any official numbers on of getting epics and or legendaries. Uh, I think there's a small chance of epics and a tiny chance of legendaries. Uh, but regardless of that, with our known stats, uh, I did the calculations and the gem cost per card is 1.77 gems for a card. Uh, if you look at the magical chests, it's 8 gems per card and the super magical chest are seven and then obviously there's no no epics for the or average for epics for the giant chest so then we look at the epics for magical and they're 350 since you get two at my level and so on so obviously the giant chest is a great value uh, depending on your deck, if you're using uh, an epic heavy deck, you definitely want to get the super magical chests. But after my two super magical chests, um, my builder hut or my barb hut went to level seven. I don't have any other rares even close to level seven. As a matter of fact, my goblin hut is still level five. So I've been using that and. I was struggling. Uh, lots and lots of draws. Uh, losses when people would sneak in the other lane. So um, I, I tried the wizard. I had fireball. Uh, I had the ice wizard, uh, which I like. But, uh, oops, I meant to do the info. Uh, I definitely like. It's just... I think it takes a special deck that I don't have uh, currently. Uh, so, so far I've been finding some good success with this, this deck right here. Now, to me, this deck is really focused on the commons and rares. They're the pushing power. So I have a, obviously I, I do a normal spawner deploy and as the troops are coming up, I drop the mortar and it is great. I don't always drop it in order to take out the tower. Sometimes I'll drop it for defense, uh, but placed up far enough so that it can clear out uh, the decks that drop three defensive towers was kind of my thinking. And you'll see uh, I've got some solid wins. Some of it's fun, like that one against this person. Let's watch this one. And I'm going to do a couple live games too. But I kind of wanted to get out some numbers for the, I, I guess, the cost. Maybe show you the value of the chests. So, I I don't like, um, first, because I found, say I deployed on that side, and they haven't deployed anything yet, and they drop a golem or a P.E.K.K.A., or a hog rider and a prince on the other side, you can almost instantly lose that tower. Which is also why I do have there instead of the barb. Just because of the cost, I can have 10 elixir drop. Oh, look at this poison. Thank you, Super Magical Chest, for giving me a level 3 poison. Level 3, it's uh, 48 per second to troops and 20 to 10 seconds, so that's 480 and 
200. It is so great because you hit those choke points, especially with spawners. You hit those choke points where you're, all of the troops are building up right at the river. So it is a great thing to drop. And unlike the Ice Wizard, which would also be great, um, the fireballs and direct damage that come down uh, aren't really affected by it. So you can see uh, his tower is basically dead. So now I know his tower will die from a poison because the poison will do 200. So I do believe I switched my deployment lane because I did get a 2-0 victory this time. And with his uh, hut there, poison is just awesome. I don't think it's as great as people say for taking out buildings, because now it does 480 damage. That's what half a level five hut. A level five hut is 1022. Which I only know because I find that that hold down function where you can see points. My iPad. I don't have a a newer iPad, so I can't. Uh, apparently, there's you can do pressure holds. Little a light pressure will show the hit points, and a more pressure will show more. And I went back and forth on the Tesla of having it in there, not having it in there. Um, it, it's great pressure. And look at that poison, it just melts them. As you can see, my my towers are very steady. Now this deck is definitely not as fun to play as some of my decks. It's not quite as exciting. It's a, a slow grind, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Uh, so let's open up our little our free silver. So I, I've been on a good streak too. My crown chest had an epic. My fr I, then I got a epic out of my next free chest, and then in my all the way to the right slot, I had another epic. So Troy is uh, raging a little bit. Understandable rage. I don't want to. I'm not trying to call him out. He, as you can see, last season, he made 3016 for his highest, and kind of put him up at a level that, with the reset, he was outclassed. He ended up playing Smurf or Smur and um, was getting wrecked. All right, let's so let's jump into a live battle. Oh, level 9. Like, for level 9s, it's cry, good luck, cry. So this is a good opportunity to... Especially, look at that, level 7 to my level 5. So, I'm gonna go ham right here. That's probably setting myself up for a, a big hurt, but yeah, there's the big hurt. Not exactly sure what I want to do here. I know I want to drop poison at some point. I think we'll just do that. Because that, that barb hut's going to be the, the most pain. So we want to lower that down. And we want to rebuild it. That's one thing I have to keep reminding myself is you have to constantly rebuild. Because if you fall behind, you fall behind. And then there's no coming back. Now I'm kind of wishing I had Fireball. I'm expecting a Barb Hut coming out of him. Like, like that. But that's going to let me get uh, a very nice poison going. Which I'm hoping will be my uh, winning point. Uh, honestly, I have a feeling that this is going to be a a draw match, to be perfectly honest. 
Oh good, so he has no spear throwers. Well, except for those, so we'll just arrow those. Which is probably a mistake, because we know he has minions. Oops, I dropped that a little. And by a little, I mean a lot wrong. And they're dead. Because I wasted my arrows. But I am getting some good damage in. Oh, look at that poison. Keep dropping troops in there. Keep running through it. Feel the burn. Boom. That's what I was waiting for. Get a big poison. Gotta remember, I, I do forget often that you have to keep your, your huts going. Otherwise, you lose. And you lose in a big way. Because once the huts go, the pressure goes. Oh, that's good. That's a great timing. So I'll have my poison now. No, 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 no. Good poison there. But again, not gonna have enough time. But that was close. Uh, the fact that I held them, uh, I'm finding a lot of matches where my only goal is to not lose because I'm outmatched. So let's take a, a little gander. Uh, level 9 commons, level 9 commons, level 6. I don't think I even saw his hog rider once. Uh, level 7 huts, level 9, level 7, level 4. Look at the legendary mirror too. I was watching a replay where somebody had a level 2 legendary princess, but their mirror was high enough level that their mirror gave him a level 5 legendary princess, which to me is insane. So I think we'll do um, one more game, and then I think we'll open up a couple giant chests, see how we do, see if we're getting uh, any upgrades. And I don't feel too bad about this, um, that deployment building. Just because it's it's not all of your mana, really. Oh, good lightning! Still getting some some good poke. That's going to do some damage, but it's not going to do... Uh, well, it's going to do a lot. Good lord, I did not expect that much. Wow. So now we know he has lightning. Not exactly sure what to do uh, first lightning. I think if we play it up a little higher... Because I think this is going to help, because he's got level 5, so I've got level 7s of this. He may not be running that. He may drop a, pe a P.E.K.K.A. or something beefy. Might have been a little soon for that. That's one thing, a lot of times I don't drop that until it's uh, like double time. You know, keep them guessing so that they're never really sure when it's coming or what's coming. Not gonna let that go again. That was brutal. Look at that damage.
Oh, that's gonna cost him right there. Getting ready for the anything random over here. Drop the poison back there. Sudden death. Oh, good game. You know, I didn't even notice that. Good game, good game. He got that one tiny push. I, I mean, it was seriously, it was five elixir and wrecked me. Sometimes I'm amazed just for things that you don't, uh, that don't come up all the time. Okay, so now I get this ready. And that is just um, an unfortunate start. Oh, that was, that was a good mortar. Let's hope that kills it, because I've heard that they don't always kill it. Like that. Wow. I'd say this guy spent too much money, but you don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money um, to get it. So, two chests could get it for you. Realistically. It's the mirror version that concerns me a whole lot more. I won't lie. So I got some damage. He got a lot of damage. But again, level 9. Uh, I don't place a whole lot of value on the levels. Uh, especially compared to the fact that uh, card levels. People who only spend their money to upgrade cards that they use. Hurt a whole lot more. Level 5. Level 5 epic. That's going to take my entire tower. And of course, he's got a princess to follow and my dragon can't possibly be bothered to go over there. Which is unfortunate to say the least. So I, I, the push comes through and... We drop the beef. It's what's for dinner. Drop some poison. Drop baby dragon. Get wrecked by a giant. Bring him back. Good game. Hey, but he ain't getting another crown. So, yeah. Tonight is a rough night, to say the least. We'll do one more. And uh, let me know in the comments, uh, am I making big mistakes or am I just outclass? Because uh, it feels like th that's an outclass. You know, I'm not complaining that he spent more money than I did uh, or got luckier. But I was told that arrows should take them out. But my arrows aren't high enough. I don't like doing this, but... Drop a whole bunch of stuff. Drop that. Try to defend. Hopefully he doesn't take it. That was good. That was good. He um, did 
did a whole lot of damage. <clears throat> and then I go into my, hey, I'm a spawner deck. Level 8 to my level 7. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. One problem I have is oftentimes I rush like that. He just used a lot of elixir. And I wanted to push, but then he drops a wizard. So I, I, I can't very well get too crazy with the cheese whiz, as they say. Oh, but that, that'll... That'll help. Got my barbs coming in. Locked onto the target. Drop the poison. Slows him down. Drop the knight. And hopefully get in some uh, critter damage, as they say. But that tower is down. <laughs> Obviously, it's a whole lot harder. my mortar helped me there. I won't lie. That was a, a good help. I want to build back here and be stupid apparently. And then pull the knight, pull, him, pull him some of them. That was good. Poison will definitely help there. Let's see what to do. Boom, locked on. Got troops going in. Got more troops going in. Zap, 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 zap them. Keep him on the defense. The problem is, is he can deploy right, right on him. Poison there, put the Tesla there, put the baby dragon here, and we're just trying to get all of that pushed in, uh, but it's not going to happen. It's a good game. But as you can see, the deck, um, I think Mortar is a, is a good addition to the deck. I know it's, I feel dirty playing it. Not gonna lie, but sometimes it's all about the results, you know. Hit a couple donation, and then let's uh, let's crack 232 cards. I do love seeing the big numbers. Royal Giant. I played the Royal Giant. I'm not a fan. Musketeer. Oh, so there's my rares. Oh, and then 173. Math seems right. That's good. Let's try to get something that's in my deck. Hey, gold's in my deck. Pekka, don't use him. Musketeer, don't use her. 200, uh, don't use him. I do think they are right that it, um, it, it keeps your cards up. Ooh, look at that. Epic out of there. So that's three with an epic. Rocket, also low level. 207 million. Nice. Alright, so we'll call that good. We'll gloat a little bit in clan. Just got an epic out of Rent Row. I'm still not happy with this whole iOS. I'm used to Android swipe. Out of one, four, three epics. So far. Alright guys, this is Zero Cool on Cyrex Chips signing off. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. I try to, uh, I'm new enough where I 
can respond to all three of the people that you know reply or make a comment, uh, which I appreciate a lot. Uh, also, our clan's getting up there, so we've upped it to uh, 1600. I know my little picture says 12 still. Uh, it's a pain in the butt to change, but um, keep keep grinding and learning, and always watch your replays. Oftentimes, when you're losing, it's easy to dismiss it as they were better than me, they were higher level than me. Uh, but oftentimes, there's one mistake that will cost you. All right, thanks. Peace.